welcome to Tammy's Tabata and today is a full body weight workout for beginners. We are going to do 20 seconds of an exercise followed with 10 seconds of rest and we repeat that times eight. It gives us a four minute round. We have four rounds to do. Each round has a two exercises in each round. And we are gonna start with a three minute, three to four minute warm up, and we're gonna do a three to four minute stretch. So by the time it's all said and done, it will be a 30 minute workout. So let's get at it. Let's start with some shoulder rolls. Oh, we're gonna warm up the body from head to toe. So some shoulder rolls, feels good just to start with that. Let's bring our head down and just roll side to side. Back to center. Let's bring our arms across front, back and forth like this. Opening up the chest and shoulders and upper back. Hands on our hips and do some swiggles. In one direction. And then the other direction. Now, let's do some squats. Just half squats. And let's put our hands on our knees and do some cat cows. Okay, now let's march. Hope you're excited for this. We're going to step and curl, pulling our arms back. Okay, down on the ground, so on your hands and knees. And we're going to alternate legs and arms, opposite. Out straight. And now let's do some half push-ups from table position. So make your hands nice and wide and just down and up, down and up. Okay, now we're going to get down on our belly. And we're just going to lift our arms only up off the ground a few times. And if that hurts, bring your arms down like this and do it. So squeezing your shoulder blades together. Okay, and release. Relax your upper body and just lift one leg and then the other leg. Keep your core nice and stiff and tight. So squeeze through your midsection. That may be a lot of work. Okay, and then put your hands beside you, push yourself back up, tuck your toes, bring your hips up, pedal out your legs, then walk your feet towards your hands and roll your body up. And that is our warm up and now we're going to get started. I'm using my Tabata counter to keep us on track, so I just put it down here, but don't worry if you can't see it, I'm verbally going to cue you. So I will keep you on track. This actually is more for me than it is for you. The first two exercises we're gonna do is a half squat. So you only go half the depth. If you wanna go further, feel free, but otherwise, this is all that's required is to go half, okay? Take any stance you want. It could be wide, narrow, whatever, just as long as you're not going like this. Okay, so you don't wanna be dumping your body forward like that. You wanna be squatting down, like you're trying to put your bum on a seat, okay? And then the other exercise we're gonna do with that, we're pairing with this, is the alternating reverse lunge. And again, this is a half depth. So traditionally, or technically, you can go the whole way down to the ground, but you don't have to do that, it's half. Let's get started. We have a prep for five seconds, and we're gonna start with those half squats right now. 
So just half, that's it, half the depth. Breathe. Make sure your knees are going over your toes and your body is staying upright. Perfect. Just march it out. We're going to do alternating reverse lunge, half the depth. So you step back and then the other leg steps back. You just take a turn. Perfect. Okay, we do that again. Body weight squat, here we go. Halves. Track the knees over the toes. Perfect. Alternating reverse lunges coming up. Let's do this. Again, if you want to go deeper, you can. Make sure you're keeping your core braced, body upright. Excellent. Half squats coming up again. Here we go. Guess what? This is the last of the body weight squats right here. The act, and actually, the rest of the workout is done on the floor. So this is your last standing set. The next three rounds are all on the floor. Because this is a full body workout, but we're getting our legs done now, and then we get on the floor. We do a little bit more legs on the floor, and then after that, we work on the upper body, and then we finish off with some core. Last time for alternating reverse lunge. Here we go. Do whatever feels comfortable with your hands. I know I should have told you that in the beginning. water in between. Like I said, we're on the floor for the next, so we'll get down on the floor. The first exercise in the next round is a glute bridge. So we lay back on the floor, we have our feet hip width distance apart, and then if you can touch the, your heels, that's great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just try to bring them close to your bum as you can. And when you lift, you're going to turn your tailbone underneath, and then you lift up like that, and then back down. So we're doing those. And we're going to superset those with sideline leg raises. So we lay on our side and we lift our leg up and down like that. And we'll alternate with those on each set. So we'll do a whole set on each side. Okay, so you might as well just stay right here, nice and relaxed. We only have a few seconds left. Get ready. And here we go. So lift. Now, make sure you curl your tailbone under so it's kind of like you're trying to make your tailbone 
point towards the ceiling, and then you want to push your knees out over your toes. Really drive your feet into the floor, and lift and squeeze those glutes as you're lifting. So you squeeze. Squeeze your bum when you lift. Okay, on your side. Make a bend for your head. Bend the bottom leg to anchor yourself. And lift and lower. Keep your foot active through this exercise so it's not hanging off your leg. You don't have to go as high as I am. Perfect. Back on your back. Back on your back for another glute. Uh, bridge. Lift. Squeezing your bum. Squeeze. Remember, push your feet down through the ground. Knees go over the toes. Breathe. Okay, now you're gonna lay on your other side. Make a bed for your head. Activate. Lift and lower. Perfect. You get your glute meat when you do that. A very important muscle in stabilizing your hips. Bridge. Third time, squeezing the bum. Please work your hamstrings and your glutes. Feel those hammies. Sideline leg raise. This set, I love this set. It's so easy to do, it flows so well. And lift. Working your glute meat, your adductors, abductors. Back on your back. Last time for the bridge. So you bring your bum down like this, and you're going to go half, like that, okay? Now, if you want to go the whole way down, make sure you maintain that same form so your head's not dropping. And then we're going to do alternating Superman. So we're on the floor, and we alternate leg and arm, like that. And if you don't like your arms up that high, you can bring them down like this. So then you lift. Actually, in this case, I would probably just lift just the legs like that, or you could lift all together at the same time, like that. So there's a couple options. So half kneeling push-ups, bum is down. So half, uh, it's kneeling half push-up is what I meant to say.
20 seconds is a long time. So if you want to, you can also do child pose to push up. Okay? So you take a, a, a break in between. I'll show you on next round what I mean. Superman, Supermans. Bracing your core when you do this exercise. alternate back and forth okay if that doesn't feel good by the way you can always lay down like this and lift up like that instead all right let's get ready for bird dog last to bat around and here we go engage your core and focus and we're gonna alternate arms and legs each side Try not to lift that leg up high behind you. It's more 
It's more important for it to go out straight from the body. Perfect. Side plank from the knees. Here we go. 20 seconds up to. You don't have to hold the whole 20 seconds. You can hold up to 20 seconds. And if you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you can take that top leg and bring it out like that if you want. Bird dog. Get ready. Here we go. Remember, it's not about that leg getting up high behind you. It's more important to get it just lifted off the ground, but keeping your neck and your spine nice and stiff. We don't want any flexion or extension in the spine. Perfect. Now, side plank on the other side. This is going so fast. We're almost done. And lift. Focus. You should be feeling it right here in your obliques. You can put your hand up or you can put it on your hip. Whatever feels comfortable. Make sure your head stays in line. It's hard to see if you don't have somebody telling you. <laughs> hey, bird dog. This is number three. Get ready. Go. Focus. This is one of the best core exercises you can do. I follow Stuart McGill and he is the man on core training. Side plank. Let's do this. Hold steady. Feel those obliques working. Almost there. Fantastic. Last time for bird dog. Here we go. Bird dog is deceiving. And last time for side plank. And this is actually the last exercise for this workout. That's why people love Tabatas, because they go so fast. They're very busy, there's so much activity happening, it just goes so fast. Perfect, well done. So now we are going to cool down. I'm gonna put my timer on for that because if I don't, I will get distracted and I will stretch you for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> I hope you feel great about doing that today. That's an accomplishment, 30 minute exercise, 30 minute workout today. So that is something to be truly, truly proud of and to feel good about. Building your fitness and doing something really good for your body. One more big deep breath. Excellent. Let's put our hand on the floor and reach over our head. And now the other side. Breathing nice and deep. And back to center. Let's give our body a twist, nice and gentle. Look over the shoulder behind you. And then back to front on the other side. And 
back to center. Lace your fingers, push away, slouch. Sit up straight, bring those hands behind your back, lace your fingers, push them down to the ground and lift the chest. Cross the shoulder or across the front of the body, and then you can take eagle or you can go like this, whatever feels good for you. And switch to the other side, like this, or eagle. Place our fingers, push them up towards the ceiling like that. Bring the arm behind the head and push your head up against your arm and then feel that stretch. Tricep and shoulder and back and chest. You get a lot in this one. And switch to the other side. Bring the legs out straight, stretch those hamstrings. Bring the soles of your feet together, pull them towards your body, lean forward, groin stretch. You can push your elbows on your legs like this if you want. Up, take one leg, bring it around, stretch your quads. Bring that leg, cross it over, hug it, stretch your glutes. Okay. Now back to center like this. Bring this leg around and stretch your quads. <sighs> Feels good. Bring this leg over and stretch your glutes. good feeling, isn't it? You have it done. Another workout, another good thing for your health. Building fitness, taking care of yourself. This is self-care. This is wellness. It's not just fitness. It's everything. It's all of it. It makes a difference. Big deep breath. Relax your hands. Let's roll your head around a little bit. Now, I want you to be very happy that you just did this today and I want you to continue doing this, continue using my workouts and I hope you're enjoying the program and enjoying everything that I'm offering you. Please feel free to comment on the, in the section below the video or send me an email and tell me how you're doing or if you have any questions about the workouts or the programs or anything at all, I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you have a fantastic day and take really good care of yourself. Bye for now.